Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook! It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Finally! I have a minute without Toesworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on a holiday only to be stuck with Toesworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see here is that this very... Distinct flavor. I butchered that. Oh, Missy. Missy. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well. Um. Exclamation point. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map where, that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Ooh! I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try and open it. <gasps> White light! Hey there, Ultimate Yoshi here, and welcome to my next Let's Play of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh... One of my personal f most favorite games in the entire history of gaming, ever. I am so looking forward to this. No, I don't want to see the intro again. Loading the save file. Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. The save file has been loaded. I shall erase Mario. And I shall erase Zack. So 
file 1 is going to be my main game, file 3 is going to be my backup file. Uh, these two I don't care about. New game! Mm. Well, you know what? You've already seen it. So I might as well sh say, my real name is Zach. Or Zachary. But... Whatever. I'll use my real name. I don't care. It's not as if you... Maybe, like, 30 people watching this are going to try and identif- Identity thief me. That is now a word. Done. Is this name okay? No, it's not. Because it's my name. And my name's stupid. Saving settings. Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. Your progress was saved. Welcome to Mario Abode. Paracarry! He's from the first Paper Mario game, which I haven't played yet. Mail call! Luigi. Um, I'm sorry if I don't really do many voices, but I'm terrible with voices. If I attempt them, they're going to be terrible. Hey bro, check it out! A letter from Pin Princess Peach arrived for you! I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? It sounds like you're trying to keep me, like, illiterate, Luigi. Ahem! Now let's see here. Dot dot dot. Hello there, Mario! I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into a possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. I think that's how it's pronounced, but if it's not, that's how I've always pronounced it, so... Sue me. Not really. But since it is difficult... I keep skipping lines. Since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself... I thought you would you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Beach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. I see a weird little fish in the bottom right corner. And suddenly we're at sea! Paper Mario! The Thousand Year Door. Mm -hmm. I love this game's soundtrack. Such an amazing soundtrack. I love everything about this game. There are a few things that I wish they did better. But the entire rest of the game just makes it so much better. So much- I, I, I really- There are not many- points about this game that I really hate. I love this game! I love it! And I'm so happy that I'm finally let's playing this. It's also... The prologue! A rogue's welcome. I keep forgetting to press the A button. I'm thinking like it's going to transition for me, but I... But it doesn't. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Mario opens his eyes very slowly. There isn't even like light there to like blind him or anything. He's just like, I'm gonna open my eyes very slowly. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I like that word, disembark. And... I like this track a lot, this music track. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. WHAT ROUGH WEATHER?! You saw the, like, the little thing where it said Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, the title... thing? 
when the boat was dri driving across the water, f floating on the water, it was perfectly sunny. There was no rough weather whatsoever. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? You did not. What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. Somebody thinks we're crazy. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Magic boat! Chugga, 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 chugga. Welcome to Rogueport. So, we are controlling Mario, of course. You can jump with the A button, hammer with the B button. And... Pressing Z brings up this little menu. Pressing Start actually brings up a real menu. Um... No, 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 no. There's a little thing over here. Don't jump into the water, or this will happen. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Probably shouldn't do that, considering what's about to happen. Anyways... Let's talk to you. Oi! Hey, welcome to Rogueport! Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. You don't say. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. I never understood that saying. How does kicking a bucket equate to dying? Either way, hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you can continue it from that last point you saved at. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to save. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. Saving! Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. You don't tell me what to do. Hello, Mr. Toad. What do you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I remember a princess, probably. What do you want this chick, pal? Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, you money? Or is she your girlfriend? That's debatable. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, fr